My Yui cosplay helmet was 3D printed on my CR10S Pro. I put some spot putty on the big parts and then used filler primer spray over the entire helmet to fill out the layer lines. I repeated these steps a couple times by sanding and spraying filler primer. After I thought it was smooth enough, I cut out the visor. The edges were filled in and it was prepared for painting. I painted the entire helmet with spray paint in metallic silver and then masked off the pieces that needed airbrushing. I used an airbrush called the Iwata TRN2. It's a mid-level airbrush for mid-size projects with a 0.5 nozzle. For paints I use Createx, Opaque and Transparent base paints. I mix them up to get the right color. All the masking tape was carefully removed and then applied again to spray paint and airbrush the last accents. A little logo was cut using my vinyl color. Some paint was scraped away for distress to look. I cut out all the holes that needed leads and put some war black crystal art in the holes for a transparent uh, look. Then tested some lead light to see if it would have the right effect. I tinted the war black crystal art with some sharpie. Then I got some Christmas lights and hot glued them into the helmet. I added some fabric on the inside to block the lead light. Looks good so far. It was time to make the visor. I 3D printed a buck, as it's called, and used some clear patchy plastic, 0.5mm thin, to vacuform it over the buck. The vacuform box is basically just a box with holes and a vacuum cleaner in it. This will make sure that the plastic is tightly pulled around the buck. This took a couple tries before I got it perfect. You gotta make sure that the bug is temperature resistant and doesn't leave any marks. Then some headlight tint foil was applied over the visor for an easy, hexagon and fancy look. The visor was glued in and a LED strip was glued in around it. It was placed under some EVA foam so the LED wouldn't hurt my eyes. I added the LED strip to the same battery pack that I used for the Christmas lights. I added two different switches so the visor can be turned off if you don't want to have it. This will make it easier to see through. The visor is see through even if the LEDs are on, but only if the room is well lit. And now the Spec Ops UA helmet is done. I'm looking to make copies so check out my web store for more information.